Hey there. It's time for Northern Africa to take on Eastern Europe with Algeria versus Slovenia. Now, we couldn't actually get our hands on Algerian wines, so the Moroccans have kindly sponsored the Algerian effort with an interesting little blend from Gerouan, or Gerouan in, um, in Morocco. It's from a producer called Znaiba, 2008. It's called Le Trois Domaines, the Three Domains, and it's a blend of Uni Blanc, Claret, and Sauvignon. We'll see what happens there. From Slovenia, we've got a little wine from Ormos, the region of Ormos. It's from a producer called Verus. It's the 2009 Pinot Gris. Let's get cracking, shall we? Haven't had many Moroccan wines, to be honest, and I've never had a chance to try an Algerian wine. So, on behalf of the Algerians, let's see, let's see how they do. Mmm, really grapey, lifted, sort of musky. Got some pear in the mouth. It's quite ripe and fat, even a little bit oily. There is some acidity, but it is, is quite a fat, fat, juicy wine. A little bit one dimensional, but definitely interesting. Now, this Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris is the same grape as Pinot Grigio. It, um, in, in Italy, it's Pinot Grigio. In France and, and Slovenia, obviously, it's Pinot Gris. Mmm, ripe apples and, and fresh, sort of crisp apples, red apples on the nose. Really dry, really mineral, really crisp. Really sort of luscious, but, but that acidity refreshes your mouth. Mm. Both proper wines, both get a goal apiece to sort of kickstart the match. Um, this, the, the Algerian or the Moroccan, would challenge for a second goal, but that sort of over the top richness at the end without the acidity has dropped that back. It, st it stays on one. Whereas the Slovenian, just for that, that crazy minerality coming through the length, there's another one. Also, to have with either of these wines with food, I definitely have to go to Slovenia with fish and that sort of thing. Brilliant. So that's 3-1 against Algeria or against Morocco. Slovenians up. That's me.